A walk through the graveyard. He had planned his journey weeks in advance. He knew of all the dangers and the whereabouts of the Valley of Doom and the Sidewalk of Death. He had lost countless loved ones and grieved too many friends, but this was a treacherous path he had to face. The wind was so strong, I felt it whistle through the gaps in my eyes, and I felt the pelting of the sand stripping across my face, blown in from the shore. The ghastly echo of these gusts were almost too loud to hear the dreaded crunch beneath my feet. With the end of his journey in sight, he slowed his pace even more so to take in his surroundings. This is what he'd been missing as he sat at home, too afraid to venture out, but he made it against all odds. He was brimming with pride and excitement for what was to come when he got to the other side. In a split second, his walls caved in with an earth-shattering earth crash, and he was grounded to the earth before he could even process what had happened. He would never see his wife and kids again. He would never see the flowers he wished to see on the other side. He would never again feel the sunshine of his shells again. I didn't even need to look down to know that I too had now sinned the life of a snail.